What's the deal? What's the deal? You already know who it is. Your favorite Nancy Pooh. What's the deal? You already know where I'm at. I'm in motherfucking where? Viva Las Vegas, baby. Doing my big one. Chilling. You know what I'm talking about? I'm going to meet a few of the ladies this weekend. It's all good. Down here with my girls. We having a motherfucking ball. You already know. So what's going to be the word of the day? No fakes, no phonies. And let me tell you about fakes and phonies, right? Fakes and phonies come as friends, families, even your kids. They come as your mamas, your daddies, your auntie, your cousins, any fucking body. A fake and phony can be anybody. And let me tell you why you got to watch out for them. You got a lot of fakes and phony, you know, who will swear they your ride or die. They got your back, but you can't call and ask them for nothing. You know what I'm saying? You can't call and say, hey, I'm short on my rent. Can you spot me? You know what I'm saying? You can't you can't call and ask them for nothing. You know what I'm saying? You can't get nothing up out of them because they ain't got nothing. You know what I'm talking about? But they can always mooch off of you. Whether it's a ride, whether it's twenty dollars, whether it's buying them some of the food. Like it's it's funny. But they really fake and phony. Because I'm gonna tell you what it is. Cut all them people that can ask you off for something. And let's wait and see how long it take them to call you. Let's see Let's see how long it take them to call and say, hey, how you doing? How you feeling today? You need anything? Because usually you be upbeat, you be this, you know. You need anything? You need to fuck with the people that ask you, are you okay? You know, some of y'all just always just want to help. Help, 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 help. But y'all don't even be helping yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all ain't helped yourself to one of these bonnets. You know what I'm talking about? The Pooh Mafia bonnet. You know, you ain't helped yourself to one of them. You know, y'all around here helping everybody else. I mean, help me. You feel me? Shopify. Auntie Pool Talk. You'll see the website. you see the vibes. Check the comments. I'm going to have my uh, team throw it down there. I'm just saying. Sometimes, look, my point is this. Stop fucking with people that don't fuck with you. And you probably think they fuck with you because they'll party with you, drink with you, smoke with you. But, baby, they don't really fuck with you in the long run. Which one of them help you? Which one of them can you really call? No fakes, no phonies. And let me tell you something, another thing. It's time for you to start being selfish, baby. You ain't got no money to let nobody borrow. You ain't got no money to lose. Don't let nothing slide. Don't let nothing slide. Be selfish. You know why you ain't got nowhere? Because you're not selfish enough. That's why God won't bless you. Like me, I know. He know if he bless me with all that money, I'm going to give it away. And you will think to yourself, well, that is what God will want you to do. No. He wants you to set the foundation and take care of your household. So you can make sure that your, your household is straight. Then you can try to help somebody else. But see, right now, ain't none of us in a position to help nobody. Because we got to focus on us. And you better figure out what your purpose is. You're around here acting like you got time at the time at the time. Time don't wait on nobody. You better figure out your purpose. And I guarantee once you figure out what your purpose is on this earth, you're going to fall so in love into what you do. It's not even going to seem like work. Just like me. I know my purpose is storytelling and I love it. It get overwhelming sometimes, but I love it. I went and traded to go back to a 9 to 5, but nothing in the world. Nothing. So I'm just, I'm going to leave it like that. You know what I'm talking about? Somebody need to hear it. Check this out. So like I said in the story, we at the funeral, right? We at the funeral, we chilling. And a girl walk up like, oh, this is the funeral. So, like I said, the car came back. And some of y'all got it right because that's exactly what happened. Nigga, the car come back and boom, 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 boom. Light that motherfucker up. I bullshit you not. I'm standing right here. The round right here. My homegirl right here. There's people all outside because, you know, why are we outside right there? 
because that's where you smoke at. It wasn't no smoking on the inside. So we had to step outside. So it wasn't like people was like really trying to hang out. It was just that that was where you smoked at. By the time Duran pushed me down and I hit the ground, right? I noticed I'm seeing blood, but I don't know where it's coming from, right? And I'm looking. And I'm like, who blood is this? So when I move my body, I'm looking at me. I'm like, oh my God, I got blood all over me. So now I'm starting to go into shock. I'm like, oh shit. I'm hit. I'm like, oh fuck. I'm hit. Duran, like, no, baby. I'm like, babe, I don't want to die. I don't want to die, but I can't die, I can't die, I can't die. He like, calm down, babe, calm down, calm down. I'm like, Duran, I'm hit. He like, I'm trying to see where you hit at. Calm down, calm down. I'm like, oh my God, come on, I'ma call I'ma. My homegirl, she's screaming. <sighs> she like, poo, poo. I'm like, I'm hit. I'm like, I'm hit. So now, I'm in like, I mean, panic mode. You know what I'm saying? I am. I just knew I was dead. Like, all I was thinking was, please call my mama. <laughs> Somebody call my mama. She got to know what happened. Like, she got to hear my voice before. This is me. Like, I am in complete, utter, you know what I mean? Like, oh, my God. I was so fucking scared. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm scared. Fuck. Bitch, I was scared. Deron just said, fuck this shit. He said, take care of her. He like, man, I, it's on. Now, bitch, I didn't panic. <laughs> bitch, I look. My shit ain't no, ain't no bad wound. But it was the way it penetrated through me. That's what made so much blood. But it was in and out. So that was good, a good thing. So, my family now, nigga, they in the uproar. They want to know who who y'all into it with. They want to know the whole get out. So my brother, they come to the hospital. They like, bitch, we thought you was dying. You all right? I'm like, bitch, I thought I was dying. Leave my little flesh. <laughs> my little in and out <laughs> <laughs> bitch, I thought I was dead. <laughs> but bitch, it wasn't even bad. But still, that shit wasn't no joke. <laughs> yeah, what I'm talking about? So now my family, they clowning. Like, oh, you sitting here hollering, bitch. You got a flesh wound. Ain't shit wrong with you. You mad because you got skint up. They just clowning. Nigga, fuck you <laughs> Bitch, I thought it was over. <laughs> my mama talking about, you all calling on the phone. Talking about, mama, I'm about to die. So don't be saying no shit like that. Got me up here thinking, I got to bury your motherfucking ass. <laughs> And then my brother told me, man, I don't know what the fuck she thought was going to happen. Her motherfucking ass, all right. Well, excuse me, sir. I ain't been shot like y'all before. I know my brother been shot up a few times. My bad. I'm not a motherfucking shoot em up, bang, bang ass motherfucking, you know what I'm talking about, motherfucking warrior nigga. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> bitch, I don't give a fuck if it's a flesh room in and out, bitch. I was nervous. I thought I was finna die. You got me fucked up. <laughs> they didn't even keep me in the hospital for a night, bitch. They sent me home the same night. <laughs> so when I get out, I'm coming downstairs, and you know he still got me in a wheelchair. So Duran right there talking to my brother. And he running up to me all like dramatically, babe, babe, I swear to God, I'm going to kill everything. Duh. My mama like, boy, shut the fuck up. Y'all need to be fucking listening and shitting the fuck down. Now here your ass, your two friends is all damn, one of them banged the fuck up, looking like a goddamn, I'm like, mama. Tell about no, this motherfucker damn near handicapped, your other friend dead. Now, Shaden got shot. My daughter done got shot. Nigga, let me tell you something. Keep your motherfucking ass away from my daughter. Because, nigga, why you ain't got hit, chick? 
<laughs> like, oh, Deron, like, no, I was right there. She talking about you shouldn't even push my baby, nigga. She probably would have been all right. Like, so then my brother, like, hey, we got to get down. Deron, like, what? He like, nigga, like I said, we got to get down, my nigga. He like, we cool and all, nigga, but nigga, this my sister. Nigga, I'm pressing lines, nigga, even you. Deron say nothing. Oh, say no more. Now, we are in the middle of the motherfucking parking lot of St. Francis. Bullshit, you not. The homegirl from Grape Street is working the gate where you come in and pay your money and <laughs> lift the gate up and down, right? She locked all shit. She even got her phone. My brother like, you got me fucked up. We got to get down, my nigga, period. And around like, all right, say no more. So my brother get out there, and I'm thinking, oh, shit. They asked him to be fighting. My mama like, you a stupid motherfucker. You want to fight him because he helped save your sister. Now, where the fuck does that make sense? You know what? I'm getting the fuck up out of here because you motherfuckers like jail. I don't. Y'all stupid as fuck. You want to fight at the motherfucking hospital? Get your dumb ass in the car. And first of all, you one of my only goddamn sons that I question your damn fighting skills. Now, you see this damn boy? This boy got pent up anger and aggression in him. Look how he's standing. He finna beat the shit out of you. Then you go want to shoot him. Get your dumb ass in the car. He like, mama, mama, I'm the only child you do like that. She said, because you my only goddamn child that got weak ankles. That's where I got that shit from. He like, what, what? She like, boy, get your slew foot stupid ass in the goddamn car. That boy looking like he finna beat the fuck out of you. And I'm not finna sit up here and watch my son get his ass beat. Period. So stop, nigga, for a start some more shit. That nigga finna go do his shit. He know what he gotta do. Get your dumb ass in the car. The reason why my mama going off on my brother like this, because this is my daddy's son, right? But he can stay at the house with my mama and us, right? <laughs> but... <laughs> my mama and them don't treat him different, right? So, my brother don't know he's slow. And what I mean by slow is like, he, it's like, my mama, and this is my mama words. <laughs> nah, I don't mean no harm. I don't mean no harm or no disrespect to nobody, right? This is my mama words, and if a bitch come for my mama, bitch, I'm coming for yours. Period, bitch. So, tread light when it comes to my mama. My mama said, <laughs> yeah. That's why niggas shouldn't do outside cheating. You don't never know what a bitch jeans is. Now look at this slow ass motherfucker. We been treating him normal his whole motherfucking life. He don't even know he fucking half retarded. Which he didn't know. Like honest to God. Like my brother don't know that he got a problem. Like he. Like when we used to be younger. And we used to clown and be like nigga that's why you slow. He would be like bitch you slow. But he not slow like mentally. But physically he is, but we treat him so normal. And my mama told him, like, them walking shoes they got to wear and shit like that. My mom used to tell him, nigga, he had shoes with superpowers, bitch. Yeah. My brother think he a goddamn super crib. I promise you. <laughs> like he a special crib. I promise you. <laughs> and he was like, no, 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 no. He was telling my other brothers, no, y'all some bitches. Y'all some bitches. Y'all just don't want me to squabble. Y'all just don't want me to squabble. Got mom tripping on me. My other brother like, get your retarded ass in the goddamn court. Sitting up here trying to fight. Get your ass. You barely could stand up. He told my nigga, I can stand up. Fuck you mean? Fuck you mean? I just be getting tired. He told my no, nigga, your legs don't work. I said, see, this the shit that I'm talking about. This the shit that I'm talking about. Right here. So... Everybody come, we sitting there chilling. My mama like, you taking your ass home. And you ain't coming to my main house, you going to the other house. I'm like, okay, that's understandable. I get it, because it's cracking right now. You know what I'm saying? So, Deron like, am I up, ma'am, am I allowed? She talking about, boy, you the one finna take her over there. I ain't going over there with y'all motherfuckers. Y'all motherfuckers is gangbangers. Y'all out here gangbanging and cripping and shit, doing all type of illegal shit. I'm not about to ride with y'all. I don't give a fuck if this is my daughter. I ain't dying because of none of you motherfuckers. I ain't getting in the car with y'all. Hell no. <laughs> You're right. So we go to the other spot. We sitting there. 
We got my brothers uh, letting me in the house and shit. Me and Duran, we all in there. We waiting on Shaden them to pull up, right? Shaden had a goddamn mental breakdown because of me. Because ain't nobody told her I'm okay yet. Like, Shay calling, tripping, and I'm laughing. Because I'm like, Shay, I, bitch, I'm answering the phone, bitch. <laughs> I'm like, hello? She talking about my bitch better not be dead. Bitch, is you dead? I'm like, Shay, bitch, how am I dead and I'm talking to you? This bitch, boy, I'm just saying, bitch, you all right, bitch. I ain't want you to die. Damn, bitch, how many times you gonna say I'm dead, ho? Stop, hey, bitch. <laughs> Stop that shit. Ain't shit wrong with me. Calm the fuck down. Relax, girl. You're doing too much. So, of course, the ride talking to my brothers, you know what I'm talking about? Letting them know what's going on, da 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 da. So, my brother, who work with Marcus, now put me to the side. He, like, I'm finna find out if it's Marcus now. He like, and if it is, you already know what's up. I'm like, it is what it is. He like, but I'm finna get at that nigga directly, man to man. I'm not about to play no games. So my brother go in the room, I guess he called Marcus. Hey, my nigga, what's up? Because my sister got shot, nigga. So I'm going to tell you right now, bro. Marcus like, hold on, bro. That ain't had nothing to do with me, my nigga. Your sister, my nigga. Like, I ain't, uh-uh. Da, 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 da. Like, she ain't even told the nigga she know it's me. Like, nah, we solid. I ain't got nothing to do with that, bro. I promise you. Mike was my people, nigga. I'm going off on the nigga. Like, nah, nigga. Nah. And what happened at the time was, damn, I really hate that. I really don't. Anyway, two hoods that used to get along, that lit, that's in the same area. I don't want to say the hoods because, you know, I don't want niggas think I'm politicking on their hood or trying to tell their hood business. But two blood hoods at this, at this particular time used to be real, real cool, right? Now they enemies. And they're literally one block apart. You know what I mean? Like, they're in the same hood. Like, they have, they share the same streets. Like, well, we gonna leave that alone. So, that's what that was about, right? So, we get to the bottom of that. They talk about it. Now, this is where the shit get real. Now, y'all know I'm not gonna give y'all a whole complete story because I'm on vacation. But I am gonna give y'all little fillers like this. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gotta respect my time just out here being, you know. Just chilling, but I'm gonna give y'all a video later on because I do gotta start getting ready. I got a couple of interviews that I gotta do. I think that y'all gonna like. Um, hold on, y'all. I'm checking right now, so I gotta stay on top of the time, and I gotta stay in my phone because y'all know I don't be, I be, I be slipping when it comes to this phone. You know what I'm talking about? I really do. Missing money, forgetting to respond to an email, you know, shit like that. But anyway, they talk, they do what they do. Shay Pony pull up. Shay got flowers, balloons, candy, all this bitch. This bitch act like. This bitch just act like bitch. I swear that bitch act like she was coming to a funeral. So my mama ended up pulling up because she was bringing me some medicine and stuff like that. She was bringing the stuff the doctor had prescribed. Plus she was just bringing me the stuff her and my granny said I should use. Fuck the doctors, right? As soon as my mama saw them balloons and shit, here go my mama. Don't be coming here with that sympathy shit. She ain't dead. Ain't shit wrong with her. Don't be motherfucking coming with no goddamn flowers and balloons and shit. Ain't shit wrong with her. Fuck all that. Don't do all that. Both of you bitches could have died. Y'all need to stop. Stay your ass in the house. She just tearing us an asshole from fucking here to there, right? So that was all good. You know, the little mom vibe and shit. We was chilling. So like I said, my brother had already talked to Marcus. So we already knew what was going on. So now I realize, man, that only lead one person, and that's Big C. You feel me? So now y'all realize that Big C is the reason why shit like this got cracking. So we going to stop right here. And let me tell you why I'm going to stop right here. We stopping right here because now we finna go back and tell our story. You get what I'm saying? Now y'all finna see how greed and everything tie in, and you finna see how everything ends. Um, I appreciate y'all. Tips are always welcome. Y'all already know the deal. You know what I'm talking about? Auntie Poo Talk, Venmo, PayPal, Zelly. Y'all know the deal. Um, hey, check this out. I love y'all. I'm going to give y'all another filler. Chill out. I know you're like, Auntie, it's, only two. it's barely 20 minutes. Look, I know, I know, I know, I know. But I got shit I got to handle. You know what I'm talking about? But I was thinking about you. Don't be so greedy, baby. I was thinking about you. At least I took time out. You know what I'm talking about? To give you this. I didn't have to give you nothing, but I wanted to give you something. You know what I'm talking about? Let y'all know I'm always here. I'm always be there for you. I love y'all. I got y'all later on today after I knocked them interviews out. 
And once I cook my crab boil, y'all know once I make my crab boil and my steak, baby, I'm finna give y'all a video. So don't even trip. You already know. If you in Vegas, hit me up. Pool Mafia line. Y'all got the number. 424-258-4640. Y'all can call me for anything. Any time of the day. I'm still answering the Pool Mafia number. If you in Las Vegas, get at me, baby. I'm here till Monday. Pull up. Come on. Come, you know. Come get in the pool. Come do what it do. Come, you know, come we can barbecue. We can do whatever. What's the deal? You know? I love y'all. I'll get out y'all later. All right? All right.